beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you are new i am love nina welcome 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 it's been on me so i just wanted to get it out um i'm feeling much better i'm in a much better place and it took me a while to make this video because i didn't want to make the video when i was upset and angry because i feel like you know i wouldn't have been representing christ y'all would be looking at me like girl <laughs> But like I always say in my videos, just because you are saved, just because you are a believer, just because you walk the right path does not mean that obstacles will not come your way. It doesn't mean that you will not face hardships and problems and stuff like that. That's a lie. You know, we're still human. We're still going to go through things. And, um, you know, if I would have got on camera, I would have been doing a lot of stuff that I should not have, that I feel is inappropriate. Like, you know, my mind was crazy. Okay. Thank God for his grace and I just want to thank him for the people that he put in my life to actually pray for me and actually get me right and get me back on the right path because listen, okay? So anyway, let's get into it, right? So back in December, this young man hit the back of my car. He was black. He was 19 years old and he had dreads. I mean, he had, lock he had dreadlocks. He did have locks and my first reaction was not to call the police why because we're two black people um he's a young black boy he has dreadlocks you know dreadlocks in the eyes of you know racist people and it's unfortunate that me as a black woman i get hit right i'm innocent i'm literally at a red light not even moving okay and i get rear-ended and it's very unfortunate that my first reaction was okay we don't have to call the police we can handle this it's sad because i don't know how it could have ended it could have ended perfectly fine we could have got some cops that aren't racist we could have got some black cops i don't know but at the end of the day i know that when cops are called uh, sometimes i'm gonna say all the times but sometimes it ends in tragedy and i just didn't feel it was necessary right maybe about like i'll say like a good two three minutes later i felt pain in my lower back now i've already suffered from pain so he called his dad and i'm like okay you know what i'm gonna call the police and he's like well you said you don't want to call the police da, da, da. i said yeah i know i said but unfortunately i'm feeling pain right now and a lot of people don't get me wrong a lot of people lie and act like they're injured if they're not injured but some people are really injured and i was someone who actually got injured i was hurt so i'm sitting there like no i think i should call the police and i literally dialed 911 and i was about to call and he's literally begging me please don't call the cops please don't call the cops my son is gonna get a citation like we could just handle it that's why we have insurance i can give you my insurance so then he's trying to play around with the insurance like well you have our information you could just call us i was like no i said i'm not leaving this scene without your insurance so cool um i get his information we take pictures or whatever whatever i contact the lawyer he gets me into physical therapy i'm doing physical therapy my knee is jacked up my back is jacked up they actually i actually took an mri and they actually saw that i was literally really having pain and that i was not lying trying to get a check right so all of a sudden i'm calling his company they're like oh we can't speak to you because you are represented by an attorney you need to contact your attorney and then have your attorney contact us fine well i called him i called my attorney and i'm like hey what's going on are they gonna come look at my car because the uh a part of my bumper in the back was bent in so he's like well actually they are not coming out to see your car because they said you are partially at fault so they're not covering anything and because there was no police report it's your word against his they said the reason why i was partially at fault is because my lights were out and he didn't see me. Okay, number one, I was sitting at a red light. It wasn't even that dark and the street that we were on had a lot of street lights. So he's like, your lights were out. So I'm like, okay, I drive a 2018 vehicle, okay? I don't touch my lights. As soon as I press the button on my door to get in the car, everything comes on, my lights come on right away. So that's a lie. I don't have to touch my lights at all. I don't. It's not an older car. Like my 2009 Civic that I used to have, that car, I had to literally manually turn on my lights. The car that I drive now, I do not. My lights are on. There's nothing wrong with my lights. My brake light works and my tail lights work. Oh, because he said it and there's no police report. Remember, his dad begged me. I originally said I did not want to call the police. I will admit that. I should be compensated for my pain. Yeah, I should be compensated because I was out of work. Yeah, I should be compensated because uh, you literally hit me while I was sitting still. Yes, I should be compensated because of the stress that you put me through because you lied. Yeah, I should be compensated for the fact that 
there's damage to my vehicle. So I'm confused. You see what I'm saying? Because I was nice, because this man was pleading with me, I didn't call the cops. After that happened, I was really, really upset. Like I was, I'm talking about livid. I'm talking about pissed. I'm talking about angry, okay? And then I'm, I'm taking time out to go to physical therapy to get my body right. My back is still hurting the whole nine. And it's just like, it's really, really messed up. And it's really, really, really sad and disgusting. The fact that this man lied. So I went on a hunt to look him up, find him, find his number. Because I needed him to tell the truth, okay? So I go on Facebook and I look him up and guess what I find, guys? Guess what I find out about this man? This man that begged me not to call the cops on his son. He's a pastor. He's a pastor. A pastor. That's preaching the word of my God. He's a pastor. And he lied. And it's really, really, really disgusting to me that you can do something like that and then call yourself a man of god now don't get me wrong like i always say we are imperfect humans we will never ever ever be perfect we won't always do the right things we won't but why would you do that it's not that serious i got your son out of getting a citation i got him out of getting a ticket i got him out of doing community service i did that part for you why are you going to lie to your insurance company? It's your insurance company. They're going to pay it. It ain't coming out your pocket. Yeah, your insurance might go up a little bit. And it needs to because your son is a reckless driver. He hit me while I was stopped. It's wrong. And I take fault for not calling the cops. I said I literally had 911 on my phone and was about to press it. But he's literally pleading and begging with me not to call the cops on his son. And he keeps trying to throw in my face. Well, you said that you didn't want to call the cops. Yeah, I didn't before I felt the pain. I thought I was good. But when I felt the pain, yeah, I feel like I need to call the cops so I can get a record of this so that I'm good in the end. But guess who got over? They did. So I go, I find him on Facebook. I called him and he answered the phone. He sounded like a loving man. He sound loving. And, you know, I literally, I was literally crying on the phone. I'm like, how could y'all do this? This is just not right. Like, I'm just going in. And he's like, you know, well, you know, you know who God is. And you know that God is not going to leave you out there. He stopped preaching to me, okay? Kind of, kind of like, but in the end, you still lied on me. But I'm not going to lie. He did come for me in that moment. He's like, you know, God is going to do whatever he has to do for you. He's going to get you right. You're going to be fine. And thank you, Jesus, because I was perfectly fine afterwards, okay? It's the principle. I'm, God did hold me down afterwards, and I'm so grateful to him, and I thank him, and I love him. But at the end of the day, like, that literally hurt, okay? Right, I have a recording, too, because I recorded it, because I was that serious. Like, nah, y'all not going to do this to me. Y'all not going to lie on me while I was sitting at that red light, just sitting there minding my own business, and I get, boom, hit in the back. That's not fair. It's not fair, but you know what? Life isn't fair and things are going to happen. And it's a learning lesson. Hopefully, prayerfully, I don't get into another accident. Please, Father. But if I do, I'm calling the cops. I don't care if it's a tap, tap, tap. I'm calling the cops because at the end of the day, look who's stuck. He living free. He's fine. Now, I know God got me. And I know, you know, I know how he works. You reap what you sow. I know that. So I'm not seeking revenge. I'm not trying to, you know, because I did get their address. I did get everything. And I really wanted to go up to the house. Like, I wanted to talk to this man face to face because you just don't do this to people. Like, my heart was broke, okay? I happened to talk to my brother in Christ. His name is Moses. I'm shouting you out, Moses. Hey, Moses. I love you, brother. So I was talking to my brother in Christ, and he just got me right. And he prayed for me. And he told me to pray. And he's like, pray for peace. Pray, you know, that it doesn't affect you anymore. Pray that, you know, you're calm and that you're okay. Because that's what it was. I was not at peace with it. I was very, very angry. I was very, very upset. Like I said, like, I was back in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like, it was no godly thoughts. Turn the other cheek. It was none of that. Do what's right. I lost money. I couldn't sleep. I was stressed out. Like, I was scared to drive after that. Like, every every time I drive and I'm stopping, I'm looking in the rear view. I'm a very good driver. I thank my mother for that. She taught me how to drive. And at 12, I actually learned how to drive, like, very, very well. And I appreciate it. And I thank you. But unfortunately, like my mother said, when my mother taught me how to drive, she always said, you're not driving for yourself. You're driving for the other people on the road because other people on the road, they can't drive. They're crazy. You got to make sure. You know what I'm saying? Just like when the light turns green, you don't just scare because you got the right away. You got to make sure that nobody's going to run the red light coming this way. 
Just because you got the right way don't mean it's safe. Now when I'm driving, even though before, like I said, my mom told me how to drive. She always said, make sure you, when you are behind somebody, you can see the whole back of their car. You don't drive up on somebody, you can't see their plates, you can't do nothing. What if something happens, it breaks down, you gotta move around, now you gotta back up, now you stuck and all that stuff. So she always told me to give room. I'm giving extra room now and I'm looking in my rear view to make sure that nobody's speeding up just in case I gotta move up a little bit too. Like, come on. Just pay attention on the road. Put your phones down. This is important. Put your phones down. Stop looking all around. Stop going live on the phone. Stop texting and driving. It's dangerous. People are getting killed every single day because of reckless driving. If you're not going to be a respectable, responsible driver, get off the road. If you're not going to respect the law, get off the road. You are hurting people out here. It is not that serious. You can wait till you get to the red light to text that person back. You can wait till you get to the red light to change that song. Get the phones out of your hand. It's dangerous. It's literally dangerous. Woo! I'm sorry, guys. Ugh. So my lawyer just dropped the case. He was like, can't do it. You ain't got no police report. It's, it's not, not gonna do. It's your word against his and they're gonna go with him. So Bay, he was very, very upset. He goes and finds the boy on Facebook. He's writing him messages like, yo, just come clean, tell the truth. And the boy sends a, vi sends a picture of my car. He sent him the picture that he sent to the insurance company, right? In the picture, my lights are on. My tail lights are on. So if my tail lights are on, even if, and it's not, my, my brake light is perfectly fine. But even if my brake light was out, my tail lights were on in the picture. So how were my lights out? How were my lights out? And to this day, I low-key still want to fight it. But at the end of the day, it's okay. Because cause like, the, like the father told me, God is going to handle it. God got me. So I'm not going to try to seek revenge. I'm not going to do all that. I ain't got time for all of that. But... You know, it, it is what it is. And I just thank my brother in Christ for praying for me because literally that same day that he prayed, I felt peace. I felt calm. I was okay. I was just like, all right, whatever. It happens. Life happens. I'm alive. My car isn't severely damaged. It's just a little bend or whatever. My knee is okay. It's back to normal. My back still hurts. I forgave the father. I forgive the son for lying and doing that. It was just wrong because they felt like, oh, she's just trying to get a check. She's just trying to get some money. And it's just like, eh, I need to be compensated. It's not, oh, I got hit and I'm perfectly fine. I'm great. And I'm just trying to get some money out of y'all. I was really injured. The test can't lie. It's disgusting that somebody would just say, oh, whatever, she's just trying to get a check. Because the way you hit me, you feel like you didn't do anything. You hit me and you bent something. So therefore, you did some type of damage and you made me jerk in some type of way that caused me some neck, some back, and some knee pain. And it's just not okay. Like I said, I forgive them. I'm all right. It's a lesson learned. Like, call the cops. It doesn't matter how sweet you're trying to be. Just because you are a Christian does not mean that you have to be a pushover. Just because you love God doesn't mean that you get to be walked over that doesn't mean that now i'm not saying tit for tat but i'm just saying do the right thing if you're in a situation where you have to call the law call the law it is what it is because at the end of the day you're going to be stuck looking stupid and left with nothing like i said life happens and i'm alive thank you jesus god is good i just want to tell anybody if you ever get into a little fender bender or anything like that and you you know sometimes you sometimes I would say even if you don't feel any pain, I feel you should call the cops just because you don't know what your body's gonna go through. Like that first day when I got hit, the pain, the my back pain came in about two, three minutes while we were on the scene. And then the next day, oh my gosh, the, it, it was like, it kept getting worse and worse and worse. So that's why I'm like, just call the cops anyway, even if you feel perfectly fine, because you don't know what your body is gonna feel like the next day. You have no idea if the muscles are sore or you know what i'm saying like it's gonna be some type of inflammation you just don't know so i recommend calling the cops even if it's a little doop, all right you know what i'm saying now i'm not saying like if somebody you know backing out and they lightly tap your car but i'm talking about something where you see a little bit of damage his emblem came off i think that's what it's called the little honda sign the honda sign came off that means you had to hit me some type of way his hood popped up a little bit like sir you hit me i'm just trying to get a check <laughs> it is what it is but anyway guys i just wanted to come and tell you that <laughs> um because it is a lot but anyway guys i thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video you can give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed you can subscribe now and if you are subscribed or you do subscribe you can hit the bell so that you're notified each and every time i upload a video and you never miss one god bless you and i'll see you in my next video later